Hi there, today we'll be unboxing the Gladiator Quad Heat Pipe CPU heatsink. Here's the box, you got the fan in the front here, features there, the applications and specifications. So here we go with opening it. Yeah, I kind of already opened it. Alright. So we here we have the pretty wide, well padded. So we got the heat pipe here. And get it out. One hand. There you go. Pretty compact. Fits my huge hands. So you got these are solid core. So good. Pretty smooth on the bottom. Uh, got the direct contact with the copper. Good heat transfer. You got your parts. Now it does come with thermal paste, not very much, but it'll do for about one or two applications. I mean, it's on the box here. You got the fan. So it doesn't have the fan added on to it yet. You can add it on, but I guess that's more for people who are going with the silent and don't want the fan on there. And there's the fan. And then you have the installation manual, which explains what to do. So here we have the manual for so the components here. We have the AM2 clip, uh, which also can do AM1 and AM3. The LGA775 push pin, some screws, the anti-vibration uh, rubber fasteners for the fan, thermal compound and fan are included. Now it does include how to install it, how to prepare it, uh, where to plug it in. And then we also have how to install the fan with the rubber connectors for the anti-vibration. Okay, and so I have the CPU cooler installed in my case here. So I have my CPU installed here. I've been using it for a week. And it's working really well for just a mid-range uh, CPU cooler. Now, I didn't end up using the push pin connectors because I just felt they were a little bit flimsy for how I like it. But I did end up adapting my uh, the mounting system from my previous CPU cooler. My average temperature is about 24 at just standby, and then it goes up to about 45 degrees for peak performance. Thanks for watching my unboxing of the OCC Gladiator Quad Heat Pipe CPU. See you next time.